Hi, I'm Ben from Rhino Max Campus, and we're here today to talk through some of the toilet options available in our Defender, Lost Track, and Exhibition Vehicle series. As a standard, the Defender comes with a Thetford cassette toilet, which is one of the most widely used toilets in the industry. Um, it's very easy to use, um, and it gives you about a week's capacity for one to two people, which is um, sufficient for most people's uses, depending on where you go and what you're doing. Um, but as we're all aware, a lot of people that do buy our products um, want to go off for extended periods of time, so particularly to places like national parks um, and doing large trips around Australia where you might be away for multiple weeks or months at a time. So the composting toilet is then something that we're recommending people to go towards. Um, that essentially allows a couple traveling to have full-time use of the toilet for between four to six weeks before it needs emptying which um, as people who travel around in vans and things like that, you would appreciate is a, is a big advantage to have. You don't need to uh, plan your trip around dump points or anything like that. So I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail about it now. Um, the unit that we used is, is by Nature's Head. Um, it's the composting toilet that you can see right here. So some more advantages with this unit is that it's a completely waterless and chemical free unit. So it means that you're not carrying around um, extra weight or capacity with any flushing um, fluids or anything like that. Um, it's also um, very easy to use as far as there's no moving parts in it other than the handle on the side, which you use to, to aerate the composting inside. Um, so yeah, let me just run through it a little bit more on how it exactly works. So how to set up and use the composting toilets. Um, briefly, to, to get it going, you have to put something like this in the inside which is a peat brick, which basically you mix with about two gallons of water, um, which will then um, turn into the starting of your composting in the bottom of the toilet. Um, whenever you're using it, you're recommended to sit down as opposed to stand up as a male. Um, the reason why you do this is because the shape of the bowl at the front there directs the fluids into the fluid container at the front here, and all the solid waste goes straight into the back into the composting holding tank. Um, huge benefits to that is that's the main reason of reducing smell. So if you separate the solids and fluids, um, you don't get any nasty odors. That's also helped by a small 12 volt fan in the back there, which is very quiet, you don't hear it. Um, so basically the unit doesn't smell at all. It actually smells less than chemical toilets because you can normally smell the chemicals in the bathroom. Um, the um, fluid container at the front here can be emptied normally about once a week. Um, but the, the solid waste at the back there, that's what you'll get about four to six weeks worth of use out of. So basically, as I say, you sit down to use it. Um, once you're finished, uh, you close the flap here, put the lid down, and then just give the, the spider handle on the side there, give that three turns, and then that's it. You can uh, put your toilet paper in there as normal. Um, and there is a spray bottle that comes with it here, which has got a mixture of water and vinegar in it, which you can just spray around the bowl at the top and that just um, helps keep it all fresh um, and reduce any smells as well. So as you can see, a very easy unit to use. Um, it doesn't take up much space in here um, and it's perfect if you're looking to get away for long trips or going into national parks.